So I had a Facebook friend looking for help with his computer. He had lost his password. So I thought that it was going to take me about five minutes to get this done. And on his way he would be. But uh, you know what? Once he got here and he gave me the computer, uh, this is what I got. Yeah, this is not just a regular password. This is a BIOS password. So this is not as easy to get by because it actually won't even let me turn on the computer. As you can see, as soon as I turn on the computer, it just gives me this option to enter the password. And if I enter it wrong three times, then it just quits. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So no, no inserting any kind of drives or anything. Uh, you can't even like change the boot setup because as soon as you hit F12 and try to change the boot uh, setup, it asks you for the password. So what to do? You know, if you have like a desktop computer, it's fairly easy because you can go on the internet and you can find how to do it on your desktop computer. Uh, usually it's a jumper with a little jumper prong thing that you just move from one prong to the other and then you turn it on and turn it off and there you go, you remove the password on your BIOS. But on a laptop, it's a little bit different. Uh, sometimes, like they say on the internet, you can look for some pads that you can like short circuit on your laptop, but they're, they're kind of hard to find sometimes, and sometimes they're not actually there. So on this laptop that I have, it's an L500D from Toshiba. Uh, it didn't have these pads. Like uh, the internet said that I should be able to find them, but uh, as I looked, I just, I just could not find them anywhere. So, since I couldn't find them just from looking, I decided to take the whole computer apart. And by taking the whole computer apart, uh, I still couldn't find them. So I spent hours actually destroying this computer and trying to find where these pads are, and I couldn't find them. So eventually I put the computer back together, and I started looking at it a little bit more, and I noticed a third option that people were saying on the internet that maybe there was a backdoor password. That's right, a backdoor password. You wouldn't think that they have these things, but uh, it actually worked. So, like, as I entered the password three times, the computer would just shut off. But I did notice that one time, when I entered the password the third time, it said a system disabled, th like, a, for like a millisecond, it said system disable, and there was, there was some sort of code. And it happened so fast, that I, I barely even saw it, but I did see it. So what I did is I recorded the message. I, I, I recorded the screen and I entered my passcode three times until it was wrong. Uh, I entered it wrong three times until it said a system disabled real quick. It, it doesn't do it actually every time. Like I had to do this like 10 times before actually it showed the system disabled long enough for my phone or my camera to catch it. And you know what? It gave me a code, system disable, and it said that the code was 0000. zero, zero, zero. I really did not think that this was going to work. What kind of code would be 0000? Zero, 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 zero? So I, I, what I did is I went to the website bios-password.org and there's going to be a link in the description and I entered 0000, zero, 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 five zeros. And it gave me a password. So I tried the password, I put it into the computer, and voila, I was able to get by the BIOS password with this secret code. And I was able to get in there and change the user password that was in there and get a new one happening. And I got rid of the password, just like that.